Do you have that horrible rotten egg smell in your water? You know, that sulfur, um, it, it's just terrible. Uh, I mean, you get used to it to some degree, but your guests come over and they remind you of the smell. It's so embarrassing. And uh, you've heard that there's different systems that will get rid of that smell. There's chemical systems and chemical free systems like this FOC, but how can that possibly work? Well, I'm gonna explain it to you right now. Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy, and I simplify water filtration to help you conquer crappy water for your family. So this is a chemical-free Hume FOC iron sulfur filter. And uh, basically how it works, it uses air to oxidize out the sulfur out of the water. If there's a li little bit of iron, less than one part per million of iron, it'll also oxidize that out. But again, it's totally chemical free and there's no filters to the cartridges to change, nothing like that, super low maintenance. But let me explain to you how it works. It works off air oxidizing out the sulfur out of the water. So when your water comes out of the faucet, it hits the air and that's where it gives off that sulfur smell. Before it hit the air, that smell wasn't given off. So what we want to do is we want to introduce the water to oxygen inside this tank to get rid of the smell inside the tank. So inside this tank, it has a big air cap, a big air bubble, if you like, at the top of the tank. Whenever you run your water, your water is sprayed through that air bubble and it brings out the sulfur smell inside the tank. Then as the water passes down through over the media, and the media inside here is a catalytic carbon or a charged carbon, also called centaur carbon, and that's actually what the C in FOC stands for. But as that uh, um, oxidized sulfur and iron passes over that charged uh, carbon inside the tank, it sticks to it. Then as it gets to the bottom of the tank, it comes in contact with this screen or this um, filter at the bottom, if you like. So the water flows down through the sides of the tank, flows into this filter, and then flows up through the middle, and then goes on to your whole house. So on an ongoing basis, whenever you run your water, it goes through that cycle. After three days of use, we have to clean up that media inside there and get rid of any of the iron that's been uh, uh, filtered out. So at a, at a predetermined time that the unit is set for, usually 2 a.m., 3 a.m., sometime like that, when there's no water usage in the home, it goes through its cycle. And there's actually two aspects to the cycle. So the first one is that it backwashes. So now what it does, it reverses the flow. So now the water goes down through this tube, comes out through the screen at the bottom, and forces the media up. In fact, it expands the media from filling just about a third of the tank to actually filling the whole tank. At the same time, it's pushing out that air bubble and it backwashes all that oxidized and precipitated iron out to the drain. Once it's finished doing that, then it sucks in air through this air injector at the top. So this is what it looks like. It's a little easier to see when I hold it up here, but it's a one-way valve, so it sucks air in through here. And, uh, and it, how it does that, it creates a, uh, there's, there's this little injector, I'll put it this way here. This little injector that sits inside here, and uh, what that does, it creates the suction. It's a Venturi effect. It creates the suction and sucks in air. So it rebuilds that air bubble. Once it's rebuilt that air bubble, it puts it back into service. It takes about 45 minutes for it to go through its, this whole cycle. So this Hume Water Care Sulfur Filter, as I said, also removes iron. So how much? So it will remove about four parts per million of sulfur, but only up to one part per million of iron. So if your uh, sulfur content is relatively high, but your iron content is relatively low, this is the best choice for you. So to learn more about these chemical-free air over media iron sulfur filters, how to install them, how to maintain them, etc., just click up here, and that'll take you right to my next video on this series, and I'll see you there.